Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so as soon as I put on StreamYard, my computer fan started running. And I feel like when my fan runs, I get some of that blurry, like pixelated look. And I just watched my video today and it was like pixelated and I felt so bad and a little bit embarrassed because I didn't watch it before I played it. So I apologize if that ever happens, you guys, when I'm recording the video, I can't see it. So, um, and I have got a new router. I have tried different things and it seems like there's always something at some point, you know? So anyway, I'm working on it. Um, I just deleted all my trash. I'm like, maybe I have too much like storage. Like I need to empty my trash. So I did that. So it's running. My fan is running, but it's not real loud. Sometimes it gets really loud. So it might be okay right now. But once I got through the introduction and into the screen sharing, it was fine. So I don't feel like the video was like lost, but it was still like a bad start to the video. And I'll probably be sharing this video like a month later. So you guys will have forgotten all about it by now. <laughs> all right. So I have a featured seller video for you and you guys, she has some really cool stuff. So, um, some dresses toddler dresses and I don't know if you guys saw this but whoopsie I never set up my screen share give me just a second all right um so I'm gonna take you up to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna scroll down and you guys can see I have tons and tons and tons of bolo related videos so if you want to learn, you have come to the right place. Um, let me see. Right here. Be on the lookout. Toddler dresses. And now my fan is really running. So you guys tell me if it um, cuts in and out or gets pixelated or blurry or anything like that in the comments. Because again, I will not know. So this video. She watched this video right here. And I'm going to take you in here. And check out this. This is from my video. Bigger deal. Um, okay, so Martha's Miniatures. I think that might be one that I have. Look but, at um, this dress. How cute is that? And the, you see how they have it all fanned out? Look. This is what the tag looks There's like. There's the tag. Martha Min Miniatures. Super cute. I think this one's beautiful. The We're fussy, oh okay? It's like a little rainbow. So I'm going to pause that, and I'm going to come back. Now, she messaged me on Facebook and showed me uh, one of her solds and I went in and I looked at her solds and I'm like, can I feature you because you're, you have a great eBay store. And she said, yes. So wait until you see what she sold these dresses for. Super exciting. All right. Let's go to the first one. Let me get it back on screen share here. So she went to a, I believe it was a church sale. And she picked these up, I think three of them for $15 is what she said. So either way, no, maybe there were four because she said they were about $3.50 each. So I don't remember. Um, I didn't write that part down, but I know it was $3.50 each. So maybe she got some other ones included. But you can see, you know really doing that fan out into a circle really makes it look so much more special than just hanging on a hanger. So definitely do that if you guys find these. She said that she did know about um, toddler dresses being a bolo, but she did not know the brands and she did not know um, that they went for that crazy amount of money. So um, here's the tag and you can see Martha miniatures were fussy. So this is what you're looking for, you guys. Now she did take a best offer on this one for 200. She said the elastic was kind of, um, I don't wanna say dry rot, but loose, it wasn't at full capacity of like, you know how it stretches back in. So she took $200 for this one, which is still amazing. All right, here's the next one. And she sold this one for, it. I, I guess I don't know which one actually had the elastic issue. Um, this one sold for $169.98. Again, super adorable. Same brand. 
I mean, amazing, isn't it? That these go for that much. And she had one more. And this one went for 120 best offer. And again, here's the brand. And the tag looks to be in really good condition. Like it doesn't look like it's been washed or anything. You know what I mean? How they get all crinkled. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic find for this uh, reseller from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And I'm so glad she messaged, messaged me and shared because now I get to share with you all of her other awesome items that she has sold for other big money bolos. So the first item is this Dale of Norway sweater. And I don't think I had this one written down. I believe she paid, hmm, let me see if I can pull that up on my phone. I would, right before the video, I realized that I didn't write down a few of them. And this was, uh, I, I don't want to give you guys false information. I don't want to like make it up and think I know what I'm talking about. Okay, she paid $5 for this. And it sold for $119.98. So that one is actually what it sold for. And I don't know if it's vintage or just a really nice quality sweater. It kind of looks vintage, doesn't it? I don't know. But Dale of Norway, guys, be on the lookout. Now, these Harley Davidson boots, she said she did pay up for these. She paid $20 and took a best offer of $80. But still, that's a fantastic return on her money. I always pick up Harley Davidson boots um, if I see them, and they're a decent price. The next item is this Johnny Was Joy. It's like a cardigan sweater. And this one, she paid $5 for it and sold it for full asking of $69.98, but she did not say where she got that one. And she didn't say where she got the Dale of Norway. You know what? I'm not sure if she told us where she got any of them other than the um, rummage sale one. I didn't notice until now, but that's okay. I mean, we still have um, what she paid for it and what it sold for. And we can assume that she got it at a garage sale a thrift store, an estate sale, you know, I mean, we got, I guess we don't need exact details. So sorry about that, you guys. I did not catch it, but um, never heard of this brand. Again, it's Johnny Was Joy. Interesting. And it kind of looks like it's embroidered into the tag even. So pretty cute. The next item is this, um, these L.L. Bean boots. And she got these for $1 and they sold for $49.98 and the buyer paid shipping. So they're just like the, um, they're men's and they're the loafer style. The next item are these amazing vintage Ralph Lauren and they are women's two tone wingtip Oxford shoes. And these came from, oh, I keep, I'm going to keep saying that because I'm so used to it. Let's see. These were so funky looking, but I knew they'd be good. Uh, paid five and sold for $45, which I'm guessing if she would have held out, she probably could have got um, more for those because they are super, super cute. But I get it. She paid five bucks and she's probably like, yes, I will take your money because that's what I do. Uh, the next item is this. <clears throat> I think it's pronounced. Aaron, Aaron, Aran. What do you guys think? Aran, Aran Crafts Ireland Women's Murano Wool Sweater, and she, I'm catching myself. She paid five fifty and sold it for forty eight dollars, and the buyer paid shipping. Where the Red Fern Grows. So this is a book. It's an early printing from 1961, and she got this at I don't know where and she paid 15 for it and it sold for $100 or $99.98 plus shipping and she said she used to sell a lot of books so I'm guessing she just kind of knows what to look for I struggle with books so this vintage Europa Healy Hansen Helly Hansen full body one piece ski snowboard suit and this came from I don't know where. 
paid three dollars for it and sold it for a best offer of fifty dollars okay so this is an 1891 wildlife on the plains general custer old wild west indians wars antique book and she paid 18 for it and it sold for 61 dollars with 12 bids she says, I've sold books for over 20 years, always on the lookout for good older books. In December, I did a large auction of many Civil War era books, um, the 1800s. So very cool. The next item is this Pampered Chef Stoneware. Um, it's like a bread pan. And this, she said, I do well with Pampered Chef, but it's heavy. So the postage is more for the buyer. The buyer did pay the shipping. She paid $3 for this and it sold for $39.98. This vintage Santa's, Santa's? Best animated white Easter bunny in box. I wonder why it's called Santa's Best. I wonder if they do like Christmas um, decorations also. Uh, this one cost her five bucks. And she sold it for $42, best offer. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is blue, it says blue onion, Staffordshire, England, ironstone dinner plates. And she said, I paid 10 for several of these. She broke them up into a few listings. This set sold for $50 and I still have I think five more listings of these for sale, different pieces. So she basically did what I did with my plates, which I think is a great idea. You know, small lots or individually because sometimes people just need one replacement item. All right. These Danner boots, uh, they came from, okay, so this is what she says about these. My husband purchased a lot from Amazon Returns. This was one of the things in the lot. I'm not a huge fan of these lots because we ended up with a lot of broken junk and used stuff. People send back to Amazon things that are used and disgusting. But that all said, I assigned a price of about $6 each for the things that her husband and that they could list from the lot. And these sold for $200. So it sounds kind of like um, there were a lot of things that were gross. But, you know, a $200 sale is pretty darn good. So hopefully she made back a lot of her money and did okay with that box. But I, I get what you're saying. Like, it's hard when you get a box full of gross stuff or broken stuff. It's really discouraging. All right. So her store is The Book Look. And I will have a link. I will. <laughs> it was like all one word. I will have a link down in the description of the video if you guys would like to go and check out her store. And I'm gonna show you some of the other things that she has listed here. She's got a really nice variety of items. So definitely go check that out. I'm not gonna show them all to you. Here is the other brand of dresser dresses that she picked up at the same sale, the Poly Finders. Um, they do not sell for as much, but definitely if you can pick it up cheap, I recommend you know, any of those frilly, cute girl, little girl dresses, but definitely go check out that video I did. That'll give you a more of an idea of um, other dresses to be on the lookout for. So yeah, pretty cool store. And what a score on those dresses. I want to find those dresses so bad. Oh, look at the little monkeys. Is that a wig? Huh. Satin trim blanket reminds me kind of of a baby Morgan. If you guys haven't seen the baby Morgans, those are definitely a bolo. The blankets, the baby blankets, baby Morgan. So here's more of those plates. So yeah, again, the links down below. And by the time I post this video, she'll probably have more solds. So you can even go down and look at her solds. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. Um, again, if there's ever a, a problem with the video, like uh, cutting in and out, let me know so I can go in and look at it. Because honestly, 
I don't have time to go back and watch every single video before I post it. Oh my goodness. And I really don't like watching myself. Oh, you guys ever do a video and watch yourself back? I mean, I'm sure that the other YouTubers have, but for those of you that are not YouTubers, try it. It's like, oh, I don't want to watch myself. But anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys all at the next video. Thanks for watching.